Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Honey, how are you? I'm better than you before you Yeah, there you go. And glad to be back with you. We're at somebody's house right now. Not a customer, not a customer. But uh, let me show you what we got. <laughs> let me show you what we got going on here. And uh, man, what a machine, guys. I just picked it up. Uh, I'm buying it. Uh, sold it for two hundred dollars the Z rate 30 inch No, I didn't buy it for two hundred dollars, but look who is here with us. It must be sweeps week because Timmy hers back <laughs> Man, what do you got going on in here? All dude? sorts of stuff DLT uh, It's been a slow mowing season. I think I only handled one yard this year and uh, I mean I made a, a fortune off of it I figured. I yeah. figured. Well, I mean, you bought you a Lincoln Electric. Yeah. Oh, you got. Is that new? No, that's the same. That's the same one. Look, look here, guys. He's working on chainsaws. Yeah. Thanks to Tom Doby and many other YouTubers. He's got his RBG 712 right there. Yeah. He's got a twin carburetor. Look, yeah, look at this, cars. man. Look at that. Where did you get the little stand, brother? I bought that off of uh, Marketplace, but I've seen them. I saw them on Amazon, too. It's just, uh, I don't really remember where I bought it. So, uh, tell us, was the roast beef crop good this year? It was phenomenal. That's why I didn't have to work so much. There you go. It was, uh, I got it in right, and I got plenty of shanks in the in the ground and it just it was came everything came up timmy her this year so tell me about the z raider how much do you like it it's it's really great if you've got a good established business and you've got all your other equipment i would definitely consider adding aeration to your services it's a it's a good add-on and uh yeah i mean you just start building up the customers there's people that are absolutely interested in it and you just got to get your face in front of them. You took the uh, cedar box off. Yeah, for right now. I'm still adjusting the uh, the dispenser part of it. And I have a walk behind that I got from uh, some YouTuber. That uh, he got, he's upgraded to a much larger. Uh, okay. So, yeah. You got the, what is it, Bluebird? That's the one that you sold me. Oh, I sold you that. I forgot. One. I ended up there. It, the plastic cracked on it, so luckily my distributor sells them, and uh, they were able to order it for like eleven dollars. So nice. I got I got a super sweet. Uh, what size motor is on this? It says VS fifty four five forty one V, but I don't know how many horses that. I'd have to look at the manual, Shane. I'm okay. I'm sorry. And we got a new belt here. Oh, yep. well, it's not going to work because it says X mark on it. Well, it's not going to work for long. <laughs> right. Right. We kid you, X mark. We kid you. Yes. Yes. But, but uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a real great machine. Is that going to be easy to get up on my gate? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as you... Uh, if you follow me back here, Shane. <laughs> what... Uh, what I'm about to show you is the biggest issue you have with putting anything on your trailer is making sure that it's latched down here. Okay. Because if it's not, what ends up happening is you put oh, too much weight on the back. You did it again? I've done it like four times. <laughs> and I tell you, oh, no. every time I want to puke because I swear I go through the same procedure. Apparently I don't go through the same procedure. And I, if I take, I've got one usually that sits in the front, so when I take the back mower off, it doesn't pop up. But when I take the front one off, oh. that trailer just goes, whoo, smash. Oh, dude. And it's like $800 to just get the, the trailer, the, the gate, and I thought, uh, no, Well, yeah, I mean, you've already done the damage, you might as well keep doing it. Right. So, I mean, so it's an easily recognizable vehicle. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Unfortunately. Guys, don't forget your veterans, please. Don't forget your veterans. Timmy is a veteran. Yeah, I sure am. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so excited. Well, you know, you live the life. <laughs> All right, guys, there's Timmy's shop. Uh, he's kind of... He's kind of going after the Tom Doby look a little bit. Oh, Lord. One day, if it will only, be a Tom Doby shop. If only I could be that lucky. Yeah, come on over here, YouTube. <laughs> Much like Tom Doby, I've got several different projects working. Not just uh, two-stroke related, yep. carpentry related, decking, auto detailing, uh, Man. air compressor. I've got batteries, cordless tools. Uh, this doesn't work. I went to the expo show and I will never go again because they were pushing the battery stuff. So I bought a battery thing that doesn't work great. Right. Awesome. And uh, here's my toolbox. Uh, Ooh, let's look in there. Yeah, oh, got, uh, look at that, guys. A crap ton of stuff. Yeah. And the top, I don't, I go through the top drawer every once in a while of collect all. Yeah. Got a full set of this. Oh, wow, look at that. And then I this. know you guys like tool. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Screwdrivers. Man, look, you even got the electric type. Well, those are the electric ones. These are called JIS. Japanese Industrial Standard. Do you like Tom them? Doby, you know what these are for? Carburetors. <laughs> Somebody told me, you don't want to use, like, there's a special tip on them, and they're different than Phillips head screwdrivers. <clears throat> don't so, tell Tom that. Don't tell Tom that. So when you get them, it doesn't strip out carbs. The screws on carbs. Okay. And then, of course, Woo! this many. And if you look over here, uh, DLT. Uh-oh. Right on that box, I've got two. I got a box of wrenches and a box of... Uh, oh, look at that, guys. I got that from a friend of mine. He's getting ready to get a bunch of new ones. He's right even now. got... Man, look, you are going after Tom Doby like crazy yeah, here. Got my welding magnets, my blower. Uh, Watch out, Tom Doby. Let's see here. Oh, I've got my little radio control thing here, but some other stuff. And what oh, else here? Man, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Pittsburgh. Time to get some new uh, new toolbox. Yeah, uh, I would... I don't know. That's in good shape, man. You cleaned her out. Yep, yeah, look right here. I got a little bit more stuff here. Oh, my There's hammers your and hammers pry and pry bars. Look and at all that. that. Gear oh, pullers. Yeah, oh, man, I tell you what. I've been shopping like... Well, you can't stop a woman from shopping. <laughs> Tom, you better watch out, okay? That's all I know. I mean, he's got... Look at this. He's got impact sockets hanging. Yeah. He's got levels, sawzalls. What man doesn't need a sawzall? Yeah, that's that's important. Yeah, I mean that's for when you're messing stuff up and you got to get rid you of it. Just demo it and get it out of right. Like when you got to dispose of the bodies. <laughs> nothing says disposal like a uh, rigid, Saw. battery operated. Yeah, sawzall. Sawzall. And then you got ultrasonic cleaner. Those are the jugs for uh, yep. for this motor. Yeah, look, the motor's look, down here. Look at them cylinders. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I've got this tool for here. The honing. Oh, he's got a honing tool. What? I, what? Yeah. Look at this, man. Doing your own honing, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What else was in here? I'll shop? tell you what, guys. Timmy Her Shop is now open for business. Yep. Oh, uh, lawnmower blades, lawnmower blades, sharpened lawnmower blades. Old chainsaw that just doesn't work. Uh, new carb. Just haven't put it together yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Which is kind of the story of my life. And you always have to have a Diablo blade on hand. No, if you're real, if you're the real deal. Uh-oh, he's got two of them. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. So, Tim, any... Uh, any advice to the folks out here? Well, if your roast beef's not out of the ground, it ain't coming out of the ground. Uh, it starts to turn into that, uh, like, quick read. So uh, you might as well just save that for future generations. All right, Tim, give us your uh, final assessment before we leave and go um, do some aeration. It's ready to go, dude. Probably... Uh, 
you'll knock this out, you'll make money, you'll be back in bed before you know it. There we go, guys. Okay, guys. We'll see you in a minute. We're going to get you some aeration footage with the old Z-Rate 30-incher. See you soon. Hey, guys. Okay, so I got to give a big shout-out to my buddy, Johnny Small Pepper. If you guys have not checked out his channel, always... Always cars or buses or something when I'm trying to talk. Anyway, if you haven't checked out his channel, go check him out. I'm going to post a video up here. That is for him. It's a stand-on versus sit-down. My thoughts on it. So, Johnny, that's for you. And I hope you enjoy this video, brother. And uh, let's get to work, guys. Let's see how this thing aerates. It's dry out. It's very dry out. But uh, hopefully no belts pop off. Okay guys, easy as pie. That thing works great. I'll be back with you when we're done. I just got to blow off sidewalks and driveways. Always bring you a blower. This would be a great time to have a little handheld, so I'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, we are going to start this one next. Obviously not doing that part. They had a repair in the yard, so let's get to it. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish this one up, and we will talk here in a little bit. What a blessing, man, today is. Getting an early start on my aerations. Won't have to work all weekend. Going to get to go to church tonight, tomorrow night. Honey, how good is our revival at church? Pretty good. Guys, it is awesome. So we are having a great time there. We missed last night. Miss Sarah had to work. So... I mean, somebody's got to work if I'm just sitting at home. You know what I mean? Somebody's got to make the Gitas. But anyway, hey, big quick shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Fitch. Happy anniversary. Right? Yeah. Happy anniversary, you guys. We love you. Can't wait to see you tonight in church. So, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we got 
this one done one down there this one over here i'll show you some of these plugs man they are gorgeous plugs look at that and of course i got rained on the entire time but man look at those beauties even on this yard here it pulled out some pretty decent plugs you're not going to get they're probably going to fall apart because that soil's really soft man all done got seven done in uh about three and a half hours and that was a little bit of driving so i'm not going to do any more because of the rain i didn't come prepared for rain today which i should have but i didn't so doc is unprepared as always and before we go on we're going to take you back to the house we're going to spray some strike hold on that stuff you know i thought i would get a bigger response from the lawn care community on the strike hold because number one it's made in america number two guys it's rust preventer corrosion preventer you can use it on your trailer lights you can use it on your tremors your blowers every single thing that you need to use it on and they do have the free shipping fixed by the way so all those who did order it will receive their money back for the shipping and also it works now because i just bought a can from tom doby last night didn't i honey i believe so yeah i love the stuff man it works and it works well so we're going to see you back at the house, finish this video, and uh, get this thing sprayed down. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, guys, we are home, and this thing did a wonderful job, I got to tell you. So we are going to spray this down all over the place with some of that strike hold. And I'm not sure why you guys uh, are hesitant to buy it, but I'm telling you, man... It is some good, good stuff. So let's get this thing sprayed down. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna give the chains a good squirt. Don't have to use a lot either, man. Give everything a good squirting. Anything that moves. Spray this down in here just a little bit. There we go. And that's about it, boys and girls. That's about it. Let's spray some down here on the old levers. See how they work. Oh, lots better. Yeah, nice. I'll wipe that off and that'll form a protective coating on that. Let's take you a towel. Wipe it off. Nice. And uh, this thing rocked and rolled today, I gotta tell you. So, there it is, the Z-Rate. I think that's the Z-Rate, 30-incher. It's a beauty. I want to thank Tim for letting me borrow it. And uh, guys, when you use somebody's equipment, make sure that you uh, clean it up when you're done. Tomorrow when I'm done with this, I'll take a hose to it, clean the tines off, get it all done and ready to go, clean the whole thing off for him. Because it does have some pine needles and stuff. It's going to be worse tomorrow. Tires are going to look pretty rough. Anyway... If you guys want to get a can of Strike Hold, I'll put it down in the description. Um, you get 10% off, free shipping. They did get it fixed, like I said. And look at the beautiful beads on that. Oh, man. I've waxed it three times so far. Anyway, a uh, quick little side note, man. I want to say this. I had, had somebody sent me a message the other night and said I want to uh, I feel like you're pushing people away from commercial work or saying it's bad and 
And I want to say this. I wish people would listen to what I say on the videos. I really do. I wish people would listen and hear what I'm saying. I specifically said, specifically, that I don't want to do commercial work. Okay? And I also said specifically that if I do it, it's going to be getting paid at the end of the month the way I get paid on all my other accounts. So I'm not sure, and, and this happens to everybody so much. People hear what they want to hear, and the rest of it, they just pass by. Because they get upset about something, or they get bothered by something, and they say, well, I, you know, he said this one thing, so I'm going to go after that. Um, by the way, nobody, nobody, except one person, is blocked off of my channel. So, I had somebody, you know, want to leave a comment? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I'm not going to block you, but there's one person that caused Sarah and I major havoc, and that person's going to stay blocked on my channel. And that's just the way it, that's the way it goes, man. You, uh, you can't always get what you want. Anyway, my advice, listen to what people are saying in their videos before you jump to conclusions. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll be back out air raiding tomorrow. Have another video for you, either tomorrow night or Saturday. And uh, man, God has blessed Sarah and I. I don't, I can't tell you, man. For a guy to to let me rent his equipment from him, Tim Her, thank you so much, man. You really helped me this year a lot, man. And especially last year. Guys, give Tim Her a big thumbs up. Give him a fist. The Roast Beef King is just one heck of a guy. And, uh, man, we got a lot to be thankful for and blessed with. So let's have, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I hope the Lord showed himself to you today and all of his creation and the things around you. And, guys, I love you all. God loves you. As always. Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.